All right, so this level two functional skills question is mostly about probability. Uh, let's give ourselves a read through and then we'll have a reminder about how probability works. Uh, May has this information about 100 flowering plants in her shop. Uh, just to explain a little bit about this table, uh, this means that there are 18 plants that had a long stem and small flowers. Uh, she will take a plant at random from these plants. Work out the probability that this plant will have a large flower and a long stem. Now usually when I talk about probability, uh, I say something like this. Uh, I say that probability is, uh, I think it's easiest to think of as a fraction initially, uh, and that fraction is the, I'm going to say desired outcome, uh, but I'll explain what I mean by that in a sec. The desired outcome out of the possible outcomes. Now what I mean by desired outcome, there. Uh, what I mean by desired outcome, I don't mean we want it to happen necessarily, I just mean it's the one we're looking at. So in this case, that fraction is going to be the desired outcome, which is a large flower and a long stem. So how many large flower long stem plants are there? There are 29 large flower long stem, so that fraction is going to be 29 out of how many plants I could have possibly chosen. Uh, and there were 100 flowering plants, or I could have added these up, and these will add up to 100 as well. So there are 100 possible outcomes, so the fraction is 29 over 100. Uh, and that is the probability. Probability, I think, is easiest to think of as a fraction. However, if I try and write 29 out of, like if I put a slash to represent the fraction, it doesn't let me do anything. So it's not going to let us give this answer as a fraction. We're going to need to give it as a decimal or a percentage. Um, it's going to be easier to give it as a decimal and, well, Hmm. I mean, does it let us put a percent sign? No, it doesn't. It doesn't even let us put a percent sign in there. So we're going to have to give it as a decimal. Now, I've talked about this on other questions on this exam. Uh, to turn a fraction to decimal, we're going to need this later as well, so I'll write it out. To go from a fraction to a decimal, you take the top of your fraction and divide by the bottom of your fraction. So you do the top divided by the bottom. Now, we are on the calculator section, so even if we weren't sure how to do 29 divided by 100, we can just do 29 divided by 100 equals... 0.29. So these are equivalent, 29 out of 100 or 0.29. Um, it would have been fine to give it as a fraction, except for this particular question, it just doesn't let you. Um, 29 out of 100 is the probability, so is 0.29. It's just in this particular case, we do have to give it as that decimal. Now part B, uh, May will take, a, uh, take at random a plant from the 72 plants that have a large flower. If I just stop for a second to talk about that, what that's saying is there are 72 plants that have a large flower. So if I were to add these together, I'd get 72, because that's the total plants that have a large flower. Uh, work out the probability that this plant will have a short stem. So if I, again, go to my sort of fraction here, the desired outcome are the short stemmed plants out of those large flowered ones. So there are 43 of those out of how many plants could I have chosen from? This time, you couldn't have chosen from all 100. You could only have chosen from those 72. And that's because she's picking one from the 72 plants that have a large flower. So the desired outcome with a, with a, with a sh short stem large flowers, and there were 43 of those, out of the 72 large flowered plants that she was choosing from. Uh, again, it's, I, I suspect it's not going to let us put a slash in there. So we, Oh, it does this time. So perhaps this time we could write it as 43 out of 72, and that's fine. Um, or if we wanted it as a decimal, so it was like last, like the last one, we could do 43 top divided by 72 bottom, top divided by bottom, and we get this decimal, which is also the probability. Um, and either one of those would be fine. Uh, I'm going to put it in like that decimal, uh, two, two, two. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So. Probability is the desired outcomes out of the possible outcomes, and I think it does always help, it does usually help to think of it like a fraction first, uh, and then do whatever conversion you've got to do. Um, when we say desired outcome, we just mean the things we're looking at out of the possible things I could have chosen from. Um, yeah, don't think there's much more to say on that. Uh, cool, so that's that. Good, good stuff. On to the next one.